This latest climate change report is aimed at helping governments prepare a workable deal to cut rising greenhouse gas emissions. The report recommends a shift from fossil fuels to renewable energies, which some describe as an insurance policy for the planet. The one message that comes out very clearly is that the world has to adapt and the world has to mitigate. And the sooner we do that, the less the chances of some of the worst impacts of climate change being faced in different parts of the world. So what are the likely impacts of climate change and how does Africa fit into the picture? The report warns of economic growth and crop yields being stunted worldwide as temperatures go up. Low-lying developing countries and small island states will be hit even harder as sea levels rise. Africa could face an onslaught of crop failures, diseases and extreme weather. The continent, which is on course to see its population double to 2.4 billion by 2050, could see development plans slowed as food and fish stocks diminish. The report says Africa's crop yields could decrease by 18 to 22 percent. Jobs in the fisheries industry will be slashed by half. Malaria could come back with a vengeance, and the number of undernourished children under five could spike. Extreme flooding could affect East Africa, with Kenya hard hit by costs of up to $52 million by 2050. And longer and more frequent droughts are also expected to affect water resources, especially in southern and western Africa, while the sea level rise may cause the flooding of major river deltas across the continent. The report also connects climate change to rising food prices and political instability, referring to the riots in Africa and Asia after food price shocks in 2008. Outside the panel's venue on Sunday, a group of climate activists and NGOs urged world leaders to take action. So we are here to remind world leaders like Barack Obama, Angela Merkel, David Cameron and many others that this is the time to act, cut emissions, to fight climate change. Um, they have ample opportunity this year and next year at important climate summits and that is when they need to put better policies on the table to save their people and the environments we depend on from climate change. The extensive Working Group 2 report is just one of three by the IPCC on climate change, with an overall summary to be made later in the year. Clementine Logan, CCTV.